We just picked up a Russian tortoise back there. Um, I think it's a female. It's pretty small. Got this tortoise table with it as long as a Exoterra, I'm thinking 18 by 18 by 12, something like that. Um, which is pretty cool and exciting. And she's pretty cool and friendly. So this is Beatrice right here, the Russian tortoise, and um, she came with this homemade tortoise table. Um, not anything great, but something to keep her in, and it had this stuff in it, but I just left it here because um, I just didn't have time to set her up, or actually we went out to the garage right when we got home to um, work on the iguana cage because I don't have a lot of time to do that. But here this is, and um, she's been eating. She hasn't been eating the squash, I don't think, but she has been eating all the leafy greens. There are a lot of them that I've been putting in here. And um, I plan to change this out probably for dirt, um, probably spray it out, which kind of sounds weird because it's wood, but just, just as a precaution. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash this lamp and this, and then I got a terrarium with her and some other things. And as well as whenever I get anything dirty, I kind of just throw it in my shower now, kind of as like a big sink that I wash all my stuff in because my shower isn't quite functional and it has a hose attached to it right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash all that stuff. And she's been doing good, here she is. So name's Beatrice, I do believe it is a female because her tail is real tiny and her shell isn't concaved, but I don't honestly know that that's a big thing with this species but she's pretty cool and um she looks healthy to me which is good sorry it wasn't in focus there and she's very active uh, especially trying to dig into this corner so i'll definitely uh, provide lots of dirt and stuff for her when i um, properly set her up with uvb and heat and everything but this is just a little tiny heat light and um she also had some bowls and different things that they gave me so i'm going to go ahead and wash those and um I did soak her for a little while, but she didn't seem to like it a whole lot, so um, that's the thing. So I got this really nice Exoterra tank with her, which is um, really cool, and just as a precaution and everything, I wash everything that I get um, always. Um, so like I said, I even wash the tortoise table. I just always make sure everything's washed with at least Dawn or... Um, bleach as well or something just so I don't have to deal with any okay, issues. Okay guys, so I went ahead and cleaned up the enclosure. I sprayed it out, um, cleaned off all the stuff, and now I'm going to add um, my soil. I do have some soil that doesn't have any insects in it, um, any bioactivity going on, and I'm going to go ahead and add that in so then if I have to throw it away I don't feel bad about anything. But I feel like that'll be better for her, and um, then I'm going to set up some more proper lighting than what um, she had probably and I will uh, clean everything else that was in her enclosure before the rock and everything get everything nice and clean and then go ahead and add her um, here is Richard over here and I don't like having them in the same room but they're both in quarantine so I can't have either one in my room especially Richard because he's currently um, being treated and whatnot. Um, so, uh, Beatrice will have to stay in here for now, and I think she's all good, but I would just like to keep her separate for a while, um, especially while my room is still, like, I don't really have any space for her in my room, and I, I haven't thought about how I'm going to work her into my room anyway, so, um, she's just going to stay in here. Um, once we get this completed, I might throw some dirt in the bottom of this and have her in here. Um, but this is the bottom of the iguana's cage, and um, by completed, I mean we need to put some um, pond liner in it, and then we'll do some other stuff to it. But uh, the first thing we need to do just at the bottom is add pond liner, and then I'd be able to add soil, so I might as well just throw her in it for a while. And this is like two and a half feet by five feet so that would be more than enough space for her. but um this is what she's in for now so i went to the tower of resources in the corner of my room and 
while I got that stuff down, I went ahead and moved some stuff around to clear out this green tub here that's unrelated to Beatrice, but um, I just did it because I don't like to get all this stuff down very often. But then I went ahead and got the dirt out of the bottom bin, which is the dirt that doesn't have any um, insects in it. So I got that dirt out so then I could add that to Beatrice's um, tortoise table and then I built back up the Tower of Resources. And then I went ahead and washed the rest of Beatrice's stuff um, and the green tub, as I had said. Okay, so everything is nice and cleaned up now. I cleaned the table, I sprayed it off, wiped it down. I cleaned both of those two things, the light and the other thing. I currently don't have a heat light, so I'm just gonna leave that for it for her. And then I have that piece of slate under the heat light and a slate right here for food and then some rocks for her to climb over um, and stuff. I just um, read that they kind of like to climb. Sorry, I wasn't focusing there. And uh, that's how I'll have it for now. Um, I know it sounds weird that they like to climb, but they can climb over the rocks. So um, I gave her those too kind of make this more interesting and I'd like to put a water bowl in except I don't have anything that's like small enough for her to get into right now so I'll, I will probably end up having um like a clay pot like the end the bottom of a clay pot um for her water dish eventually but I need to get that and then I need to get heat and UVB on her as well but right now she just has heat during the day and um it stays pretty warm in here so she should be good so um, that's this is pretty much it for now. This is her temporary um, setup. And then I have the ottomans on top of the couch here pressed up against this just so that she's not trying to get out of this at all because um, that's not really a very um, good design. They, they, shouldn't, they shouldn't have anything like that because they don't really understand glass tor tortoises and turtles. So that's pretty much it for Beatrice's enclosure. Um, I have moved it now a uh, different place in the room, but I do need to add a hide. That is one thing. She seems to be stressed out without a hide, so I need to add something for her to properly hide in, and um, I think that might help. She does seem a little bit stressed, but that's normal because she moved into a new um, environment, so I've been trying to make sure I don't mess with her at all and just kind of leave her alone, but I do need to add some type of hide, but... Um, hope you guys enjoyed and I do have a plan with what I'm doing with her I'll probably keep her in this until the summertime but as soon as it gets a little bit warm outside I'm going to be getting out and building something that a lot of animals will be going out into during the summer um, which includes uh, my iguana and Richard and Beatrice and that's pretty much it yeah um, so stay tuned for that that's pretty exciting but I hope you guys enjoyed if you did like it down below if you have any comments or concerns put in the comments below and if you want content and subscribe have a fantastic day